it's Chris Dahl here with Sewing for Fun. And this is part one, how to use an amazing software that I have discovered during my coronavirus stay at home in my sewing studio um, in my basement. Yeah, uh, pattern drafting has been something I have been exploring for a long time. And I've been teaching sewing for a long time as well. And one of the common questions I, I used to get from my students was, um, issues with fit. One of the main reasons people start to sew clothing is because they're looking for a way to get a better fit. Commercial wear is designed to fit um, large groups of people. We all come in different shapes and sizes and so um, sometimes you would buy something off the rack and it doesn't fit well. Um, too loose, too big, might fit you good here but not somewhere else and so unless you are good at altering ready to wear, which is its own entity, um, or you wanna spend money on a tailor, having them put their skills to work to alter your ready to wear, then you start getting into the game of buying commercial sewing patterns. And even with commercial sewing patterns, you are going to find some issues. Again, they're targeting a large audience, so they're going to put in basic alterations in their directions, but the majority of them don't fit well and you have to alter them before you can actually get a good fit on your clothing. So all of these things present challenges, problems, they all work, they're all good solutions, but my thinking is why not start with a well-fitted pattern from ground zero and learn to modify that into the styles that I like to wear. Typically, if you look in your closet, you have a handful of styles that you gravitate towards when you buy clothing. So if you know the styles that look good on you, learn to draft them yourself and get a, and get a good fit and wear things that make you happy. That's what this is about. So that being said, um, Seamly 2D is the name of the software that I found, and it is an open source software that my experience and my practice will help you through this process and make it less intimidating and less scary. So first thing you need to do is I'm gonna set up my screen share here, and I'm going to show you um, where to download your software, uh, starting at seamly.net, and from there you will download your appropriate um, operating system package. So either the Windows, the Mac, or the Linux. Simply download from there, click and follow the instructions. It's straightforward. If you've ever downloaded software off the internet, um, you know it just basically asks your permission, open this, yes, let it run in my computer, yes, those types of things, and let it do its thing. Um, it will come with a companion program called Seamly Me, which is a measurement um, file. It doesn't come with all of this loaded. This is just an example of what's in there. Um, so it gives you a variety of measurements here that you can pick from to build your um, measurement file. And yes, there's a lot. So um, you opened up a new one, you do have the option to set inches, centimeters, um, individual or multi-size file, and your base units um, for those files. So this is going to be a companion program. It will come automatically installed with your Seamly 2D. Don't panic, I'll show you how to use both. So enough about that. Don't save, I don't want to change that file. Um, your Seamly 2D, once it's installed, if you get excited and want to open it, um, this is what you're going to see is your drawing board. But if you're not, um, you can't do anything, really. You can look at it, but you really can't do anything with any of these areas until you click this button here, which says New. Um, give your pattern name. You can change this name. You can leave it as is. You can change the measurement units there. And once you click OK, you now see everything is clickable. And we're going to require multiple videos to achieve our goal here because this is a very um, hefty program and there's a lot happening in it. So I'm not going to go into that today. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. 
And if you decide to get into it on your own, good for you. If not, what I want you to do is click the subscribe button, um, click the like and the share, and any of those other things. If you have comments or questions about my videos, about this program, or things you want me to show you in the future videos, make sure you leave me a comment explaining that. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you. And that's it for today. Crystal with Sewing for Fun, um, brought to you from my basement studio during lockdown. So have a great day. And if you're not ready for pattern drafting, I get it. Stay tuned to my channel. There will be some basic sewing videos.